Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. And welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series where I talk about everything going on in the headlines regarding a Chelsea football club, present it to you guys, give you my opinion, and also ask for yours. Today, it's silly season in full flow, you might say. Or at least a super fanciful headline. That's right, Wilfred Ndidi, one of the best defensive midfielders in the world, very, very young, ties in defense to attack, is incredible, posts incredible numbers. There's an argument for him being the best defensive midfielder of the last midfielder of the last couple of seasons in the Premier League, and he's still so young. Apparently, he's being linked with Chelsea. If you are to believe Mundo Deportivo. Still, I want to talk about that in relation to the other story as well, which is still in the midfielders, still in the same position, and of course, that's Jorginho. Loads of headlines regarding him going to other clubs, namely Juventus again. So, I want to talk a little bit about Jorginho first, what it would mean for him to go, and could Chelsea legitimately replace him with Wilfred Ndidi. Uh, still some headlines are talking about what Chelsea would demand off Juventus to basically buy this player for sorry to have his reunited moment with Jorginho and they also want Emerson which apparently is could be in the same deal a lot to talk about and unpack and really it's I just don't know man but anyway you want daily Chelsea content make sure you do subscribe to this channel football therapy and of course hit the important bell notifications icon and why not help me out by slamming that like button thank you very much all right let's get on with it Jorginho a superb specialist player. That's right. I People can be rather unfair to Jorginho. He does post quite good defensive numbers and he has got the ability to play an excellent long ball. We've seen it. We've seen it. There is a nice story at Stamford Bridge regarding Jorginho because he has won back the fans for adversity by working hard. He's got the vice captain's armband. If there is a vice captain's armband, which is evident, the title of vice captain. And it's kind of a nice story and generally he's a good player and a good character to have around. Frank Lampard, Chelsea coach, really likes him. So there's that, but of course as soon as Sarri went to the biggest club in Italy, the monopoly that is Juventus, you knew that eventually he would come for his main man, Jorginho. Especially after playing a season over there or coaching a season over there and players not fully understanding Sarri ball, not fully grasping what he needs. You can tell he probably feels just by putting Jorginho in there, things will get so much, so much better essentially. So, yeah, you can understand why he wants his player back. Now, apart from Jorginho's agent saying yes, there are loads of big European clubs interested in the player, and not Italian clubs as well, there is very real interest from Juventus and Maurizio Sarri. Now, it's reported that Sarri wants both former players in Emerson and Jorginho. But Tuto Sport are reporting that if Chelsea are to offload both these players to Juventus, which they would be happy to, provided they are appropriately compensated. Here's a story on the Express. Tuto Sport claimed Chelsea are refusing to sell Jorginho for less than what they paid Napoli for him two years ago. 57 million euros, brackets 51.3 million pounds, plus 8 million euros, brackets 7.2 million pounds in bonuses. A grand total of 58.5 million pounds. Now, this sum is an incredibly unlikely figure considering the pandemic and the transfer market and how it will be affected. They probably know Jorginho, or sorry, Sari really wants Jorginho and he might pay whatever it takes maybe, but probably not. And the old lady and Sari apparently also really want Emerson Palmieri, Chelsea left back that's currently kind of surplus to requirements. And Tuto Sport are suggesting that Chelsea would sell Emerson to Juventus for £27 million, which is a little bit more realistic for what is a decent player on his day. There are loads of other headlines and news outlets suggesting that Juventus are willing to do a player swap deal, giving Chelsea a choice of players, maybe one, two, I don't know, for Jorginho, including the likes of, you know, Adrian Ravio, maybe even Aaron Ramsey, players that Chelsea really don't need. I've heard certain journalists talk about how this pandemic situation might actually make the likelihood of swap deals much, much higher. But still, I don't think Frank Lampard will bite when looking at the Juventus squad, and it doesn't really excite me either. If both of them are sold to Juventus, for me, it has to be for decent cash. I, personally, I wouldn't demand that much, as Chelsea are reportedly, allegedly demanding, especially considering this pandemic. If you get a decent amount for both Jorginho 
and Emerson, Chelsea already have a little bit of money together. You can fund replacements or certainly a really good replacement in the midfield, which leads us on to this next story. Wilfred Ndidi, the Leicester CDM, 23-year-old Nigerian superstar. Mundo Deportivo are reporting that Chelsea are looking to buy this player and that he could follow in the footsteps of N'Golo Kante to Stamford Bridge. Now, Leicester would have to be completely mental to sell him to Chelsea. <laughs> Off the bat, like, if you said one player that they probably couldn't sell, that's the best player. I think genuinely, genuinely, I think he's their most important player, Wilfred Ndidi. Just, like, listen to me for a second here. When he was out of the team injured, they, like, didn't win any of their games. When he's in the team, they're winning all of their games. Not only is he just an incredibly functionally good uh, central defensive midfielder. Why was that hard to say? He also makes everyone around him look better. Soyuncu and Evans at centre back, they were looked incredible with him on front of them, but as soon as he was gone, Soyuncu went from this like superstar to the shaky centre half. He literally made them look better and he did the same with Madison in front of him. He supercharges players around him. He links defence attack very well. He breaks up play incredibly well. For the last two or three seasons, he's been the best interceptive defensive uh, player in the Premier League, or certainly at least since um, Conte left Chelsea when uh, Kante was playing in the midfield too. He's been incredible and he's only 23 years old. Now, would I want this player? Oh my God, absolutely yes. At that age and posting these incredible numbers in the Premier League, he would literally make Chelsea, if you're talking about one player that's going to bridge the gap, you know, the top end of the table, this guy will absolutely do it. Provided Frank Lampard's confident his new squad can score goals, this guy's who you want in the central midfield. He is superb. Unlike Kante, you can play Wilfred Ndidi as a central lone CDM comfortably. He's slightly different to N'Golo Kante in the way he plays, and you can literally pin him as an anchor, whereas someone like N'Golo Kante has often been known for just roaming around the pitch. I think this 23-year-old Wilfred Ndidi would be an absolute buy of the season. <laughs> Can I see it happening? It seems crazy. No, probably not, because he's recently signed a new deal that sees him up to 2024. So he's already got four years left on his deal. Even if he put in a transfer request and says, you know what, man, I really like the idea of Chelsea. Can I go to Chelsea, please? They'd be like, well, no. <laughs> Firstly, but if he really like put his foot down, they'd probably sell him for incredible amounts of money. I'm reading online like 40 million euros or something like that, which is incredibly fanciful. Who knows, maybe I'm just being presumptuous here and the deal is possible. To me, it just sounds absolutely incredible if that could even be the case. So what, Chelsea sell Jorginho? Just lower the price for Jorginho for this 40 million that Ndidi would cost. Done. I'm not a Jorginho hater. I think he's good. I think he's a good specialist metronomic player. But if you watch football in the Premier League, and if you watch what Wilfred Ndidi can do, and he's only 23 years old, for Frank Lampard's team, this is not sorry ball, remember, Ndidi would be amazing. It's really important you guys know that I'm not a source of, you know, like a, I haven't got an in on any information. I'm not telling you Wilfred Ndidi is coming to Chelsea. I'm reading the headlines and I'm saying, where's this coming from? What do you guys think? Because that looks incredible. I'm just like you guys. I'm a Chelsea fan. I'm a bit of a football nerd. But that would be an amazing signing, but really, Leicester fans would probably riot. Especially as well, man. Look how well Leicester are doing under Brendan Rodgers. They've got an excellent team. They're above Chelsea in the Premier League, let's not forget. And they're going places really positively with their ownership, their long-term plans, and their squad building. And they've, of course, got a good coach in Brendan Rodgers. So... I know Real Madrid apparently want Wilfred and Didi as well. That doesn't surprise me at all. But who knows, maybe he does want to come to Chelsea. And, you know, Chelsea are a big club. They're like, he's 23 years old. So he's probably, if he's watched the Premier League growing up, he's watched Chelsea be excellent. So he might think, damn, I want to be at Stamford Bridge. I don't know. I'm only speculating. It's only a few articles and headlines at the moment coming from Mundo, Mundo Deportivo. So I'm letting you guys know. What do you think about this signing? Do you think it would ever happen? Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on any progression regarding this story. So you have to swing by football therapy every day and I'll keep you guys 
noted and what's happening in the headlines. If you have enjoyed today's video, I'd urge you guys to please like the video. That means a lot. Subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new to the channel, man. Remember, you're welcome to follow me also on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. You enjoy the football, and I will. See you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me,